In the past, even Indiana's smallest towns were connected by a robust system of streetcars, buses, and rail. But that's the past. We've already reached the 21st century. And while central Indiana's core continues to be vibrant and its suburbs are among the fastest growing in the nation, our transportation system doesn't meet the growing needs of our residents. Indy Connect is a partnership of public and private experts working to get public input on a regional transportation plan meant to connect people to people and people to places in central Indiana. You are being asked to comment on a draft plan that includes virtually all types of transportation, roads, bus, rail, and bike and pedestrian pathways. But the plan is still in draft form. We need your help to mold it. Many people in our region say that they cannot get to the places they need to be. They also have trouble getting to the places they want to be, like sporting events, theaters, shopping, and nightlife. Public transportation supports a community's economy, helping to attract businesses and jobs. According to the American Public Transportation Association, for every dollar invested in public transportation, four dollars is returned to the local community. 31% of central Indiana residents live and work in different counties. As the region continues to grow, our ability to move around easily will become even more important. Now more than ever, our region needs ways to create jobs and attract new businesses and industries. A solid infrastructure and an efficient transportation system could help make that happen. Some highlights of the proposed plan. To further increase transportation options, light rail on or near Washington Street could run all day with frequent stops at popular destinations. Accompanied by a modern commuter train running north to Fishers and south to Greenwood with multiple stops in Indianapolis. Currently, when you ride the bus, the average wait time is 30 to 60 minutes. Wait times could be reduced to 10 to 20 minutes by adding more buses. That would decrease the amount of transfers, expand overall bus service, cut travel time, and provide increased connectivity. Express buses to places outside of Marion County are included in this plan to provide faster, more direct routes with fewer stops for commuters to and from downtown. Along with these suggested changes, the draft plan recommends repaving and widening critical roadways in an effort to decrease overall drive times and increase safety and mobility. Similar changes could be made to existing bike paths and walkways. New pathways and corridors could be created, making central Indiana a more bike and pedestrian friendly community. Transportation projects are generally funded by multiple sources, with the majority of the funding coming from federal, state, and local dollars, as well as user fees. Other funding that has been successfully used by other cities includes sales, income, and property taxes, as well as other sources. Your opinion is essential for finalizing a regional transportation plan and deciding things like specific routes, funding options, and many other details of the system. Our region's transportation system must meet your needs. To learn more about Indy Connect and provide your input, visit www.indyconnect.org or call 317-327-8601. The time is now for Central Indiana to agree on our transportation future. It starts with you. Indy Connect is a partnership of transportation planning experts, the Metropolitan Planning Organization, the Central Indiana Regional Transportation Authority, and Indigo. It builds on a research project funded by the private sector. This public-private initiative is based on decades of study and is the region's most concerted effort to bring all modes of transportation together for a truly regional transportation plan that could transform the way we get around Central Indiana. 